<laughs> How are we doing, everyone? Sam here, United People's TV, Southampton 2, Manchester United 3. I've got an audience of two people behind the camera who are going to try and put me off <laughs> for the next six minutes, but I really do not give a shit because Edinson Cavani has come off the bench, got two goals and an assist, and proven that he is the sort of proper striker that we just do not have at this club. Both of his goals, I would argue, were great goals for a striker. My friend Dan disagrees with me, but two very smart headers. He was in the right position at the right time. And when he came off the bench, look, the, the whole game itself was, it, it was in, in stages. The first 20 minutes was all about Manchester United. Mason Greenwood had that chance, could have made it 1-0. He didn't. They score from a set piece. Then they score from another set piece. James Ward-Prowse with literally an inch perfect free kick, but David De Gea, would Dean Henderson have saved it? Ask yourselves that and let me know what you think about De Gea because personally, I think De Gea will not be United's number one next season. I think this is the summer where he will leave and Dean Henderson will become our proper number one. But that second half, look, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer today for me had the right form, not just the formation, but the players in the certain positions. We had a midfield diamond against Arsenal, but we had Scott McTominay playing on the right. Fred was at the base of the diamond. It just didn't work. Today, we have Matic playing at the base of the diamond, and he showed his experience and his quality in that role. And then he had Van der Beek in front of him, and he had Fred in better positions in central midfield. He had Fernandes floating as the number 10. And he really was... He wasn't as good as you would expect in the first half, but then he, boom, he comes up with an assist. He comes up... Would he get an assist? Yeah, no. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got an assist and he got a goal. But Cavani is the talking point from that second half. Just, as I said, that second half there, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he made the changes. De Gea went off because he had an injured knee, but Cavani came on for Greenwood. Now, some may argue that might be unfair on Mason Greenwood, who's had a really tough season so far with everything that's gone on with the media and the press and everything that's been... He's in the, been in the spotlight for the wrong reasons rather than scoring goals, which is what he did so naturally last season. But he went off, Cavani came on, and he made the difference. United just, we, we started to get a tempo and a flow to the football. And I don't think that's something that we can say about United much this season because we've really, so far, when we've won games, we've relied on individual brilliance. Individual moments, mainly Bruno Fernandes, basically, that have changed the game. But that there, that second half, was, it was a team comeback. You know, Fred, he made up for his mistakes with that pass down to Cavani for Bruno's equaliser. Then Cavani was there, right, all the right positions. And as I said, I think they were... Look, they may not have been great goals by Cavani, but they were great positioning by Cavani. As a striker, as a number... Well, not a number, he's number seven, but as a proper striker, you have to be in and around the six-yard box and on the ends of crosses. That, for me, is not something that is natural to Martial's game and not something that is natural to Rashford's game. Both of them tend to drift wide, which means we don't really have anybody in the middle to get on the end of these crosses. But today we had that man, and that was Edinson Cavani. And with two goals and an assist, what a 45-minute cameo. And I think we've got PSG coming up next. So that'll be tasty in midweek. But that's four wins from four for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And when it comes to United when we're, we're up against the ropes and it seems like, ah, oh, Solskjaer might get sacked, we, we kick it into a new gear and, and, and we find form again. And we've done it there with four wins in a row. But what United need to do is, is turn the screw when we're heading in the other direction. Because we're very good at saving Solskjaer from drowning, but we're not good enough when we're heading upwards. We, 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 don't, we, we struggle to keep taking steps up that ladder. And that's something that the team needs to improve on because there's real quality all over that squad. And that team there didn't have Paul Pogba in it today. And I would probably argue it was more balanced because of it. I think Donny van der Beek in his first Premier League start showed exactly why he should have started more this season and exactly why from now on he should be starting, especially if we play that midfield diamond. He complements it well. His movement into space not only creates space for others, but space for himself he was and those passes he was making towards the end there looking up ah man he's a great midfielder and I feel that four there with Matic van der Beek Fred and Fernandez that is a midfield four which genuinely does offer the balance now could Matic do that against uh, a more aggressive more intense pressing team like Liverpool or City maybe not but Southampton remember if they won today they would have gone top of the Premier League so it wasn't as if we've just done that against West Brom 
Southampton have been very good this season. Southampton were good. They were 2-0 up, but United came from 2-0 down and won. Another big comeback against Southampton at St Mary's. And it's one that will, I hope, really kickstart some momentum for United because and look, we've won four in a row, so technically that already is momentum. But that was the first team turnaround, that 45 minutes there. I, I think the other games where we have won those matches have been more about, as I said, the individual brilliance and basically the individual brilliance of Bruno Fernandes. But today you can talk about Cavani, Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes. Fred, I think, recovered from that. I think Maguire was good in defence as well. Poor from the set pieces from United. Question marks have to be asked about David De Gea's future as United's number one. Too many mistakes and it's continuing when you've got to keep it like Dean Henderson on the bench. I don't think you can keep him out for too long. But United there have turned a 2-0 deficit into a 3-2 victory. A comeback, a big comeback, inspired by Cavani. What a performance from him off the bench. Does that mean now that Cavani starts every week? Martial wasn't in the squad today. I think apparently he was ill. Um, sometimes managers, I think, use that for, as an excuse as to why they're dropping a player. But that's just, I suppose, conspiracy theory. But would you now keep Cavani in that team from the start? And maybe bring Greenwood off the bench? There's options there, but United, there a big win, a comeback win, the best of wins. They're the sorts of wins that we love as United fans. Late winners, they are the best. The most amazing feeling in football is a late winner. And Cavani there, two great goals from a great striker. Let me know what your reaction is for that in the comments below. But 3-2, happy days.